How do we find the equation of a line given two points? This is a very important process, and it's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. You might be familiar with the fact that two points define a line, and this seems like a pretty intuitive fact. If we have two points, it seems clear that there is exactly one line passing through those points. So given two points, how can we find the equation of that one line passing through them? Well, thankfully, it's not too difficult, and that's what we'll be going over. We'll be going over how to find the equation of a line given two points in two different forms. Point-slope form of a linear equation and the popular slope-intercept form. Of course, as long as you have the equation of a line in one form, you can change it into any other form you please. But in this lesson, we'll go over how to get the equation of a line in these two forms directly from the two points. Remember that m represents the slope of the line, x1 and y1 are the coordinates of any point on the line, and b is the y-intercept of the line. Point-slope form is a little bit easier, so we'll start with that. For our example, let's say we're given the points negative 1, 2, and 3, 1. We'll plot these points real quick. Negative 1, 2, that's right about there. And then the point 3, 1 is right about there. So we're trying to find the equation of this line here. We can already use either of these two points in our point-slope form equation. Let's say we pick this point here. Then we can write that y minus the y-coordinate of this point, which is 1, is equal to m multiplied by x minus the x-coordinate of this point, which is 3. Now, to finish writing this equation, we just need the slope of the line, which is really easy to find from two points using the slope formula. Remember that the slope of a line is the vertical change per unit of horizontal change, or rise over run, as it's often called. The vertical change from this point to this point is the change in y value. So in this case, that's 1 minus 2. That is the change in y value, which goes in the numerator. Then in the denominator, we have the change in x value, the change in horizontal distance, which is 3 minus negative 1. So that is the denominator, 3 minus negative 1. And what is this equal to? Well, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. That's in the numerator. And then in the denominator, 3 minus negative 1 is 3 plus 1, which is 4. So m, the slope of this line, is equal to negative 1 fourth. And remember when finding slope, instead of doing 1 minus 2 in the numerator, we could have done 2 minus 1. But if we did that, then in the denominator, we also would have had to do negative 1 minus 3. We just have to make sure we go in the same order in the numerator and denominator either from this point to this point, or from this point to this point. So anyways, now we know the slope, which we will also need for slope-intercept form. Let's erase this math down here. And now we can finish writing our point-slope-form equation. Instead of m, we actually have a slope of negative 1 fourth. And there is our point-slope-form equation for the line passing through these two points. Now, how would we find the equation for the line passing through these points in slope-intercept form? First, we would have gone through the same process we just did to find the slope. Then, we would have that y is equal to negative 1 fourth x plus b. Then, we just need to find b. And we can do that by using either this point or this point. Since we know that these points are on the line, we can plug in the x and y coordinates of either point and then solve for b. Let's say we choose this point 3, 1. Then we'll substitute 1 in for y. So we have 1 is equal to negative 1 fourth times x, and we're going to substitute 3 in for x. And again, we can do this because we know this point is on the line, so we know it makes this equation true. Now the only variable we have in this equation is b, so let's just solve for b. Carrying out this multiplication, we have that 1 is equal to negative 3 fourths plus b. Then we'll add 3 fourths to both sides. We have 1 plus 3 fourths is equal to b. 
Then we'll get some common denominators here so we can do some fraction addition. We know that one is equal to four fourths. So this is four fourths plus three fourths. That's equal to seven fourths. And that is our y intercept b. So now to finish our slope intercept form equation for this line, we can replace b with seven fourths. So the equation is y equals negative one fourth x plus seven fourths. Now I'm just going to shrink this math and set it aside so it's out of the way. So these are two equivalent equations for the very same line that passes through the points negative one two and three one. So that is how you find the equation of a line in point slope form or slope intercept form given two points. Now let me give you an example to try on your own. Find the equation of this line that passes through these two points in point slope form and in slope intercept form. Let me know what you get down in the comments and I'll leave the solution in the description. And one last thing quickly before we go. I just want to point out that we could use our graph to make sure that our equations seem reasonable. A graph isn't an exact sketch of a line, but we can see pretty clearly in our graph that the line should have a negative slope, and we see in our equations that it does. We can also see that it appears the y-intercept of the line is not a nice integer value, which also agrees with our equations. So those are just a couple things you can do to check your work. Anyways, good luck with the example. Let me know how it goes in the comments. I hope this video helped you understand how to find the equation of a line given two points. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Just come.